Okay, if you have a Beehive newsletter and you have a freebie that you want to give to your subscribers or your future subscribers, then this video is perfect for you because I'm going to teach you how to use Beehive and Beehive only to get your subscribers and they can get their freebie and you can get their email addresses and everyone will be very happy and you'll make all the money in the world. Like you have to deal with all the money in the world to watch more of my content and get my emails, but you have the possibility to do so. All right. so. I'll show you two different ways to do so, and the second way will have two minor uh, adjustments in it, so it can be even better and better with each iteration. If you want to keep it simple, the simple way is only going to take like a minute, the more complicated way will take you a good 10-15 minutes, and the most complicated version will take you a whole lot of like 15 minutes to set up. So a very big time commitment. All right, and you have to write and copy, of course, so it, you know, converts. All right, so. Uh, as you can see here, I have two freebies that I successfully or not so successfully created uh, because my recording failed miserably. Uh, but this time the recording will succeed and you'll see the whole thing of, with its full glory and everything. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, the simplest possible way is we actually are going to create a post. Uh, so you create your post like you would normally do. And this post you have a title, let's call it freebie uh, 3000. Uh, you can have a free uh, a subtitle, which would be, I don't know, get this thing now. Uh, and here you have a bunch of text. Hi, get this, it's cool. Uh, reason, reason one. And then we have, you know, a lot of other reasons. And then we have here's a link. And because we, we want to be fancy, we won't use a normal link, we use a button because buttons are cool. Uh, let's see. Let's use this one, and this one is going to call get my free 3000. Cool. And the link, we need to link to the actual freebie. So one way you can make your freebie is using Notion. So you create a, a page in Notion, you click the share button. This one is already published. Let's unpublish it. So you click share, you click publish, and you click publish again. Very, very complicated. Uh, not really. And then you copy this link here. Be careful, in the share page you have a copy link button. This is not the one you want. When you open this one, when strangers open this one, they will not be able to open your page and see it. If you want to use this as a freebie, you use publish and then you publish it as a website and you have the website link here. So you copy this link. This link, if I use an incognito tab, it's gonna open for everyone. It doesn't matter if I'm you know, invited to the page or not. This is how you submit a freebie. If you don't wanna use Notion, you can use uh, Canva, you can use Gamma, you can use uh, craft, you can use a bunch of other apps, as long as it has a public link, it can work as a, you know, the medium for your freebie. It is the easiest way and I highly, highly recommend that instead of setting up a convoluted course system. So you paste your link here. The idea is people go, go to this page, they click the link, they get the freebie. All good. Except we need their email first. So here's how we do this. Uh, once you click next in the audience, we'll pick web only. This is not really a good email. We click next. Uh, this, those are irre irre irrelevant, uh, English, very good, very good, May, me first language, English, very good, yes, perfect. So uh, this is like a normal web post, you configure all of your settings, the only one you have to be careful of is the advanced email capture, this is how we require the email address from subscribers so that they can read the content. We can do none, that means everyone can just read the content, we have a pop-up that says, hey, if you want, you can get your, you know, you can give me your email, but it's optional. And we here want the gated option. The gated option means they either give you their email, they just get away. Like they can't, they can't consume the content without giving their email. Uh, the rest of those are pretty much relevant. I like hiding the post from my feed because this is not a typical post. This isn't, you know, value packed. This is just a freebie. And I might email about this freebie, but I write a separate email. And from my feed, I want, you know, new subscribers who, you know, stumble on my feed to actually see valuable posts, not the freebies. The freebies will come later. All right, then we have advanced settings, which are not relevant. This is just a date. Then you review and then you publish. We'll just publish now because it doesn't really matter. We're not sending an email. And it creates us an, a nice, awesome link, which we can copy and open up the page. And you can see once you open up the page, you can see kind of the first couple of lines. And then it says subscribe to keep reading, aka to get the freebie. And they have to enter the email, otherwise they can't get the freebie. That's it. In like four and a half minutes, you already know how to create the first one. And you've already, if you're using Beehive, you've already done all of those things. So it's not a big deal to actually do them again. Very simple. Now, the other ways are a little bit more complicated, but not by much. 
Okay, so uh, let's close this one and implement way number two. This, this one is going to use something very fancy called custom pages and another very fancy thing called custom forms. All right, so we'll open up another link from Beehive. Just having two pages here is gonna be convenient. In this one, we're going to go to the design section in the website builder. The website builder allows us to build custom pages. And you click here on the top with the list of pages and click custom pages. And you can add links, just normal links, and you can have internal pages. We can use an internal page for the 3D. And it gives us a very similar to like editor to the one that we just saw. And here we can make it a standalone page, call it 3D3000, 3D3000. This is the URL, by the way. You can see the full URL here. You can uh, have an SEO title and description. I don't like those being indexed. I want to lead people to my freebie, not for them to stumble on it. So I, I turn this off. You can turn it on if you want. And here we basically say, um, you know, uh, we sell the freebie a little bit uh, and then we ask them for their email. So we say, give me your uh, deeds and I'll give you my, uh, you know, uh, board. Uh, no, wait, no, we, uh, we want a uh, freebie. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's insert a, an image to show how, how much character and fun we have in general. Let's uh, use one from the library because it's easier. Let's go with an animal. And let's pick something. Yes, perfect, amazing. That shows that we have a lot of character. We don't want any extra links because that's confusing. Uh, just enter your email here and I'll give you, I'll send you to it. Okay, now the last part is we need them to enter their email, right? So they need to enter their email here. But if you look at the options that Beehive gives us, there isn't, there isn't one that says, give me your email, right? It, it just like, we don't have that. So what we can do, we have a paywall break, that's a little bit different, but what we can do is we can create a form. So for this, we have this, this other menu. We go to settings, inside of settings, you click on publication, and in here you can create subscribe forms. Those are just forms from which you can subscribe to a newsletter. Nothing fancier than that. And you can put them anywhere, including places like Notion, which is very handy. So we create a new form, let's call it 3D3000. Uh, you can customize it a little bit. I won't because it doesn't matter, but you can and you can insert any kind of data you want here. And the last part that we care about is what to do when they, they're filling the form. We want to send them to a different page. And in this case, we want to send them to this Notion page. So they give, give us their email and they immediately go to the freebie. That's cool. So we send them to the lead magnet. Perfect. So this is the form. This is how it looks. And you can customize all of those using this. And we need this code here. It's very scary. It's code. Oh my God. But it's very, like, it's super easy to use. All right. So here we, we just type in HTML snippet. This code and we just paste the code. That's it. And if you preview, you'll see exactly what we saw uh, like three seconds ago, which is the sign up form. And that's everything. Once you create this page, um, yeah, perfect. All right, and once you click view, you have a page and it has a form to sign up and everything. And you can customize it however you want. Like this is super basic, but you can make it very fancy. You can add headings and titles and center the text and make it very, very cool. We didn't for the sake of simplicity, but you can see that this is a functional form. And here, whenever somebody uh, enters their email, ta-da, they get to the lead magnet. Amazing. This works really well, but still this isn't the best version. This isn't the best version because even though this page works really well, when they fill in the form, they get to the lead magnet directly, which is something that I don't like because that means that people will get an email from us saying, hey, can you confirm your subscription? And they already received the reward for confirming their subscription, which is the lead magnet. So they won't confirm their subscription a lot of the time and thus you won't really get the chance to email them and build a relationship and all, the, and all that jazz, which is amazing. So. I would rather not have that. So let me show you the best way. So we're going to get rid of this here and we're going to create another page. This page is simply going to be a thank you page. Again, a standalone page, it's called thank you. Uh, and this is uh, thank uh, you 3000. And here is thank you, uh, check, uh, check your email, uh, confirm your email and I'll send you the 3D on board. All right, 
So this is a very basic, oh wait, we definitely want this one to not be indexed as well. We, we want the freebie page and the thank you page to be not indexed. This one is like, if people are, are not getting the freebie directly, you can have this one uh, indexed, but the thank you pages, you generally want them not indexed. All right, so we have the thank you page now, which is a very simple, boring thank you page, but we can put this thank you page as the redirect on the form. So inst inside of your form, you click edit, and at the very bottom, you just redirect to your thank you page. That's it. So whenever somebody sign ups from your freebie page, let's open this one, and you want to keep the URL of the freebie page somewhere. Like this URL, we want to keep it somewhere so we can actually send it to people. Uh, and you can automate that in like, uh, you know, type fully or hype fury or one of the automation apps, it doesn't matter. Uh, but here, if I say, uh, if I give my email, I'm just going to end up in the thank you page. That's fine. And I'm going to uh, receive an email saying, hey, can you confirm your subscription, which is perfect, but I still won't get the freebie because like we haven't emailed it and you don't want to email that freebie by hand. So we will create an automation as well. So this, the, this final step is we want to create an automation. So we go to audience, you go to automations and you create a new automation. It's going to be freebie 3000. So we know what, what it is for. And it's just going to have two steps. Step number one is going to be whenever somebody signs up, let's activate this. And we're, we're going to put a condition. The condition is going to be, and you can see I did this three times already. The embed source needs to be our freebie 3000 form. We want the only people from this form to get this email. Otherwise it won't make too much sense. Okay, so if the embed source, okay, they sign up from this freebie 3000 form, which is the only place they can, you know, sign up for the freebie form and they signed up, which is the other part of this, they are going to get something amazing, an email. All right, so this email, we'll create a new email and this is uh, your freebie awaits your majesty. Almost without typos. And we can say, here's your link. And then we can take that exact same link from Notion or from wherever your freebie is and just paste it here. And you can be fancy here and also use a button if you want, if you do so desire. All right, so freebie link. And yeah, perfect, amazing. And we can make the button big and center it and everything. So yeah, it, this is a very fancy, perfect email. Obviously you want to include a little bit of text saying, you know, some nice things and, you know, just being a genuine human being. Because, you know, people connect with people, not with, you know, uh, stupid freebies. But uh, you write your email, you are a nice, awesome, welcoming person, and you just thank them and give them their, their link, because that's what they want. And that's it. So here, don't forget to click this very important button, which says activate, confirm that, and then save. Now, this one needs to be green, this one needs to be blue. If they're gray, they don't work. So once they were those two are, are up and running, what is going to happen is that people are going to go to, to your freebie page, they're going to sign up. After they sign up, they'll see the thank you page. Then they'll get an email asking them to confirm their email. And then they're going to get another email. Once they confirm, they'll get another email that has the freebie link. And this is the best form of this automation because we go for confirmation. You actually can email them after they get the freebie. And they also get the freebie using an automated email, which is very, very clean. And if you want to be a little bit fancier, here you can add a little bit of time delays. So you can add stuff like wait for one day. And after you uh, wait for one day, you can continue sending them emails and build an entire welcome sequence with your freebie. You can do that if you want, like time delay, email, time delay, email, very, very straightforward stuff. Uh, if you want, you can build a, an entire sequence. You don't need to, but you can. I prefer having uh, entire sequences, but for the sake of this, this should be enough for you to get it going. This, I think, is the best way to get this up and running because we get all of the benefits. We get a very nice, uh, you know, reasonably well looking process and, you know, people can get their freebie and you're only using Beehive, no external tools, no, not, nothing fancy. And uh, that's it. So hopefully this helps you and you don't have to go doing weird stuff. So just you can send so you can just send a freebie to somebody. You don't need cart. You don't need a second software. You just can use Beehive and that's it. It's kind of handy. So, yeah. Bye.